Hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick video on project versus projectile, two project management plugins that strive to do roughly the same thing in Emacs. So starting with projectile, it's a little bit older, it's much more advanced, it has a lot more features, which is either a good or bad thing depending, but it's also external to Emacs, to the core, um, and one of the things you can do, very simple to make a project recognized, is just add a little .projectile file in the directory. And project, on the other hand, is based on projectile. Um, it's in core Emacs, so the core team like projectile enough to make their own copy of it. And it's relatively simple, relative to projectile, fewer functions, um, a little bit more of a simplistic API for writing your own functions. And I'd say it's kind of like the 80-20 rule, the Pareto principle, where with 20% of the functionality, I get um, like 80% of the use. You know, I'm using most of that functionality 80% of the time. Um, and I'd say project is definitely more than 20% of projectile, but just to kind of illustrate that even though it is less featureful, I get pretty much everything that I'd want out of it. And the usability, one of the things I noticed is that it doesn't recognize that many file types as defining a project, but it's fairly simple with these three little functions you can get it to recognize any file you want. Uh, here I have a go.mod, but you could even define your own file like .project.p, and it would recognize a project in any of those directories. So using it to write your own functions, here I have two different examples. Um, both are a little bit ugly, especially this one. This is when I was first getting into Emacs Lisp and I was using Rails at the time. So I wanted to write a function to determine if a project was a Rails project. So here I use two if statements. I could use a cond, but again, a little ugly, kind of getting my elisp um, roots, getting kind of comfortable with the language. So I check if I'm in a project. If I'm not, I throw an error. And then I check if I can find the local rails executable in the root of the current project that I'm in. And if I'm unable to find that, then I say, nope, not in a Rails project. And then based on those, I return nil or true. Nil for not a project, not a Rails project, true for project and Rails project. And then here I have a simple function just to execute a command from a certain directory. And before I knew about the uh, global default directory variable, I would do stuff like cd and then have it run a command, cd to some directory. But that was pretty ugly and it was a bit hacky. Um, once I found out about default directory, I feel like it made my functions a lot cleaner, a lot safer. Um, and essentially what's happening here is default directory is whatever directory you're in, but you can set it locally with a let binding, which is pretty neat. So here I get the current project, I get the root of that project, and then I set that to the default directory and I execute the command python unit test. And I think in my config, I'm actually using um, compilation start just because you get color output and I like the output a little bit more, but either shell command or compilation start work. Um, so just to give a demonstration of that, let me go to this Python file where I'm importing lib files from a lib, director, lib directory. And right now I'm in a test directory. So, there's no way for me to know about these files in the lib folder from my current directory. I have to execute the tests from the project root. I can see if I test this guy, the test run, perfect. Um, but if I go here to vterm and I try to run it from the test directory here, unit test file.py, you can see error, I'm unable to import that module lib. So just being able to know about the uh, default directory using project, you can get that working pretty easily. And you could also do the same exact thing with projectile, but you have to extern install an external package. And if you're using other packages that require it, it might not be an issue, but if you want to keep things a bit tidier, a bit smaller, I definitely recommend project. It's the one that I go for most of the time, mainly because I'm trying to use um, only core Emacs stuff. But again, projectile, really great. It's kind of like the grandfather of project and it can do a lot more. So if you have more time or more precise needs for project management, 
I definitely suggest projectile. Thank you guys.